Hello and welcome to The Grove. Today we'll be looking at Lux, the Lady of Luminosity. Luxana Crownguard hails from Demacia, an insular realm where magical abilities are viewed with fear and suspicion. Able to bend light to her will, she grew up dreading discovery and exile, and was forced to keep her power secret in order to preserve her family's noble status. Nonetheless, Lux's optimism and resilience have led her to embrace her unique talents and she now seeks to bring greater tolerance and understanding to her homeland. Luxana Crownguard is from Demacia, a strong, lawful kingdom with a prestigious military history. Demacia's people have always valued the ideals of justice, honor, and duty most highly, and are fiercely proud of their cultural heritage. But in spite of these lofty principles, this largely self-sufficient nation has grown more insular and isolationist in recent centuries. Now. Demacia is a kingdom in turmoil. The capital, the great city of Demacia, was founded as a refuge from sorcery after the nightmare of the Rune Wars, and built upon the riddle of Petrosite, a peculiar white stone that dampens magical energy. It is from here that the royal family has long seen to the defense of the outlying towns and villages, farmland, forests, and mountains rich with mineral resources. However, following the sudden death of King Jarvan III, the other noble families have not yet approved the succession of his sole heir, young Prince Jarvan, to the throne. Those who dwell beyond the heavily guarded borders are increasingly viewed with suspicion, and many former allies have begun to look elsewhere for protection. In these uncertain times, some dare to whisper that the golden age of Demacia has passed, and unless its people are willing to adapt to a changing world, something many believe they are simply incapable of doing, the kingdom's decline may be inevitable. And all the petrocyte in the land will not protect Demacia from itself. Luxana, or Lux as she prefers to be called, grew up in the Demacian city of High Silvermere, along with her older brother, Garen. They were born to the prestigious Crown Guard family, which had served for generations as protectors of the King of Demacia. Their grandfather saved the King's life at the Battle of Storm's Fang, and their aunt Tyana was named commander of the elite Dauntless Vanguard Regiment before Lux was born. Garen took to his family's role with fervor, Joining the military when he was still little more than a boy, Lux, in his absence, was expected to help run the family's many estates, a task she resented even as a young child. She wanted to explore the world, to see what lay beyond the walls and borders of Demacia. She idolized Garen, but railed against his insistence that she put her own ambitions aside. To the endless frustration of Lux's tutors, who sought to prepare her for a life of dutiful service to the Ground Guard family, she would question their every teaching, examine differing perspectives, and seek out knowledge far beyond what they prepared for. Even so, few could find it in themselves to stay angry at Lux, with her zest for life and intoxicating optimism. Little did any of them know, a time of change was approaching. Magic had once brought Runeterra to the brink of annihilation, and Demacia had been founded as a place where such powers were forbidden. Many of the kingdom's folk tales told of pure hearts turned dark by the lure of magic. Indeed, Lux and Garen's uncle had been slain by a rogue mage some years earlier, and there were fearful whispers, rumors from beyond the great mountains that magic was rising once more in the world. Riding home one fateful night, Lux and her horse were attacked by a ravenous saberwolf pack. In a moment of fear and desperation, the young girl let loose a torrent of magical light from deep within her, routing the beasts but leaving her shivering in fear. Magic. The terror of Demacian myths was as much a part of Lux as her crown guard lineage. Fear and doubt gnawed at her. Would she become evil? Was she an abomination to be imprisoned and exiled? At the very least, if her powers were discovered, it would see the crown guard name disgraced forever. With Garen spending more time away from High Silvermere, Lux found herself alone in the halls of their family home. Still, over time, she became more familiar with her magic and her sleepless nights. Fists clenched, willing her inner light to fade, became fewer and fewer. She began experimenting in secret, playing with sunbeams in the courtyards, bending them into solid form, and even creating tiny, glowing figures in her palm. She resolved to keep it a secret as much as she could. When she was 16, Lux traveled with her parents, Pyatir and Agatha, to their formal residence in the great city of Demacia to witness Garen's investiture into the honored ranks of the Dauntless Vanguard. 
The city dazzled Lux. It was a monument to the noble ideals of the kingdom, which every citizen protected and cared for. And it was there that Lux learned of the Illuminators, a charitable religious order working to help the sick and the poor. Between her family's courtly engagements, she became close with a knight of the order named Kahaina, who also taught Lux more martial skills, sparring and training with her in the gardens of the Crown Guard Manor. Spending more time in the capital, Lux has finally begun to learn about the wider world, its diversity, and its history. She now understands that the Demacian way of life is not the only way. And with her clear eyes, she can see her love for her homeland, standing alongside her desire to see it made more just, and perhaps a little more accepting of mages like her. Demacia must lead by example. The world has seen enough darkness. <laughs>